Okay, so it's two months since I started this video. Uh, we're now in October and I'm hopefully get this video out before the weekend. It's a Tuesday and I'm probably going to try and get it out for tomorrow. And um, it's about the RPX 25 and developing an FX 39. And the problem I've got is I think I've over either overdeveloped it or got the wrong development times for it. And um, I'm going to put up a one of the negatives now as a negative so you can see just how dense and dark they are. Um, I use the time on Massive Dev's chart. I got the di uh, dilution right. I use their timing. So I honestly don't know. Uh, but I wasn't used to having it that dark so if you've got any ideas uh, is there a good developer for RPX 25 if you can let me know about that would be great anyway enjoy the rest of the video so hi and welcome back and I'm back in London by HMS Belfast again and uh, I've just been to Mr Cad to get some film and I walked in and the first thing they said to me was we've only got one type of colour film and I said well that's alright I've come in for black and white I, I've got no black and white at home I need to order some more and I ended up going with some Rode RPX 25. I've used it once before and I quite like it. But when I would use it the first time, I didn't have the knowledge and techniques I have now with developing and scanning. So be interested to see just how well it works out. And uh, let me just turn the camera around. So um, the, the plan is today, after I've uh, done the work, I've, I've, got, I've got a few hours left in the city. So I'm gonna go off somewhere I'm looking at somewhere near Barking. Uh, I'm not sure yet. We'll see what happens and take some shots. But the problem is it's quite overcast. Doesn't really suit this type of film. Um, but we'll have a go anyway. And again, it could take uh, another couple of weeks before I get through this film. And uh, by the time you see this, we'd have we'd have had the Bedford River Festival, and uh, that's tomorrow. And I've got colour film for that. I've got uh, other friends that are coming down, the photographers. And um, yeah, we're just gonna have the day, a couple of days out. Uh, at, the, at the River Festival, which is quite a big event actually in comparison to the size of the town it actually is. So um, anyway, I'll uh, get on. Okay, another windy day again, out and about. Left things a bit late today. Uh, I'm going to, uh, I'm actually embarking Riverside. This is a new development. Uh, I'm just literally uh, trying to take some shots. Uh, barking Riverside Station and uh, the new pier and stuff that they've got here but it's kind of like fell on its face a bit because I've only got some RPX 25 and it's now getting quite late uh, I know it's only say I say quite late it's only about six o'clock but the problem I've got is uh, it's really really overcast I mean overcast to the point of like this isn't the right type of conditions for it so that's what I'm doing and I'm just thinking I might try and get a couple of shots and that's it that's the problem when you come to do these types of things uh, when you don't know what the lights gonna be like but it's still fun anyway to be out and about and looking at new places and I'm Sam gonna try and find the Uber Pier where the boats go from and then I'm gonna walk back to the railway station or the overground station and go back and uh, I'll show you a few other shots in a second as I, say, I don't know how we're gonna hear this with the wind noise but this is going to be one huge development when it's finished and uh, seeing the houses there's a huge comprehensive school just by the railway station which you can't actually see but um, I can see this in a few years time being an amazing place to live and uh, I can see why it's been developed and they reckon it's going to take quite a few years to get everything done but uh, the other videos I've seen it were from years ago and uh, the place wasn't had any development at all and this is before the railway station and the comprehensive school was built so uh, yeah it's kind of interesting to do this and I saw it on other people's videos and thought I want to come here before it gets overly finished as it were as I say it's quite dark and for 25 ISO film I don't think it's gonna work but we'll try and get a few shots anyway before I head back uh, let's have a look it's really interesting just exploring new places and that's what I like that's what I really like about doing the film photography if I wasn't doing this now I wouldn't be doing these type of walks now I wouldn't have even dreamed about coming to places like this so it's worth just having a wander around I think this is going to be you know I'm going to get something like 30 of a second at f2.8 it's that dark you won't be able to see that on the camera 
from what you're viewing at, but it, trust me, it's really, really, really overcast and dull. So we'll see what happens.